Visión Comunal, en contacto con las comunidades. Venezuela in the news. News from the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. Headlines. For the first time in history, PDVSA will export gas to Colombia via pipeline. Storm Matthew will indirectly pass by Venezuela. In October, Brazilian entrepreneurs will arrive in Venezuela. State oil company PDVSA will export natural gas to Colombia starting December 1st after signing a contract on Tuesday with the company Petromil Gas. Through a communique, the company stated that the contract includes the export of up to 50 million cubic feet of gas per day from the gas fields in the Gulf of Venezuela, area that has proven reserves of 9.5 trillion cubic feet. The contract was signed by the president of the affiliate PDVSA Gas, Anton Castillo, and chief executive of the company Petromil Gas, Carlos Enao, reported the state oil company in a press release. PDVSA built in 2007 a pipeline of a 26-inch diameter and a length of 200 kilometers, which connects the state of Zulia, specifically in the oil-producing area of the Maracaibo Lake, with the Colombian Department of Guajira, located in the region of offshore produced gas collection in the field of Ballena. Soon will arrive in Venezuela a U.S. delegation headed by Assistant Secretary of State Thomas Shannon, informed the Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro. The announcement was made 24 hours after the meeting that Maduro held in Cartagena with the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry. Maduro said in a televised message that the Venezuelan government agrees with Kerry's visit to this country. The relations between both nations has been particularly difficult since two years ago when the U.S. President Barack Obama decreed Venezuela as an unusual threat against the internal security of the Western power. The most recent disagreement happened during the summit of the Non-Aligned Movement after a U.S. spy aircraft overflew airspace controlled by Venezuela. U.S. meteorologists informed that Tropical Storm Matthew, which was formed in the Atlantic over the Lesser Antilles, threats to become a hurricane by Friday. The National Hurricane Center in Miami informed that Matthew was formed 55 kilometers to the southeast of the island of St. Lucie and was moving westward at 33 kilometers per hour with maximum sustained winds of 95 kilometers per hour. The meteorologist issued tropical storm warnings in the French islands of Guadalupe and Martinica, as well as Barbados, Dominica, St. Vincent, Grenade, and St. Lucie. The center recommended that the islands of Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao, in the north of the Venezuelan coast, must monitor the progress of the storm. The National Organization of Maritime Safety announced that Venezuela would indirectly feel the effects. Venezuela in the news. The regional authorities of the state of Bolivar confirmed a binational encounter with Brazilian entrepreneurs that would take place in October in Ciudad Guayana, in the east of the country. The Venezuelan-Brazilian Binational Chamber confirmed that it will currently work on the preparations for the encounter of exporters and importers from both countries. President of this chamber, Guido Fratini, said the idea is to improve the balance of trade. Venezuela will offer manufactured and industrial products. The members of the Organization of Oil Exporting Countries gathered in Algiers, capital of Algeria, and agreed to limit the oil production. The agreement made will enter into force starting November. The OPEC agreed to limit the oil production at 32.5 million barrels a day. The organization plans for other countries to join the agreement. This decision was taken during an informal meeting of the OPEC held yesterday in the capital of Algeria. News from the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. Headline. For the first time in history, PDVSA will export gas to Colombia via pipeline. Storm Matthew will indirectly pass by Venezuela. In October, Brazilian entrepreneurs will arrive in Venezuela. Venezuela in the news. News from the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. Visión Comunal, en contacto con las comunidades.